The premise behind David Cronenberg Evolution is this idea that uh, David himself, David Cronenberg, is sort of the new Charles Darwin. He's sort of looking to the future about how humans will evolve, how we'll change, and how we will hunger to actually watch that next stage of human evolution. About 20 years ago, we decided to approach David and ask him to donate all of his archives, all of his material to us, which he did. And with every subsequent film, we've kept in touch with him, asking him to donate things, objects, the screenplays letters, memorabilia. So we've assembled a lot of material, and that material has traveled around the world, Paris, Tokyo, Barcelona, Sao Paulo, but it's never really resided here in Toronto and been shown. So we knew once we had Tiff Bell Lightbox up and three years into its life, the first major show that Tiff would curate from its own collection would be on David Cronenberg. This exhibition is designed to sort of take you through his own personal evolution as a filmmaker as he conceives of that idea in different ways. So at the beginning you get all the body horror, how the body changes, you have like parasites and pieces of fly matter coming off people's bodies and stuff that's really visceral, really physical. He started as a filmmaker who was kind of very curious about notions of experimentation, um, scientists experimenting, trying to better the human race do things to improve people. Of course, a big project in the Western world. And uh, these scientists, of course, many of the experiments go awry. So the first chapter, the first part of David's career, I think Mysterio right up to uh, Scanners, deals with this notion of scientists experimenting on unwilling victims. And as you get into the next sections, you actually see different sorts of evolutions. You see uh, the, uh, the kind of casts and special objects used to uh, enclose the people in crash. You have the mugwomp and the sex blob from Naked Lunch, these sort of odd creations of people's imaginations that occur. And then, of course, Existence, this creative film that sort of lives within the video game world so before its time and all of the odd objects that are created in that video game universe. The scientists, the experimenters, actually are experimenting on themselves. They're trying to improve themselves. They're kind of curious about whatever, sexuality. They're, they're curious about teleportation, telepathy. They're starting an experiment on themselves. It's this kind of notion of them beginning to control their own life and their destiny. Then we evolve, of course, into his more recent films like Eastern Promises with its tattoo kits and sort of special costuming in very, very particular locations, which talk to us about how to resituate human beings maybe in a new kind of social environment, a new kind of structure, but still recognizably our own. And I think from Spider on, you see David getting much more involved in the external and the social world, the larger world, you know, interested in questions of, of marriage, of society, of... Um, of just engaging with a, a wider universe. And the films become you know, less special effects oriented, they become much more like conventional narratives, history of violence, Eastern Promises, Cosmopolis, Dangerous Method, it looks more like convention, more conventional films. But I think you just see him engaging in the external world in a different kind of way. He's an artist who's evolved in a significant way, I think touched on so many serious issues. He's constantly, I think, you know, challenging all of us about how the, how the world has changed and evolved. And, and he's very future looking, I think, in terms of, of his ideas and his thinking. Please welcome David Cronenberg. I saw, just wandered through the exhibi uh, exhibition uh, yesterday. And uh, honestly, I, I didn't really I didn't expect a big re emotional reaction <laughs> to my own stuff. But I have to say that it's really a work of art. And it's not my work of art, it's their work of art. It's not just my stuff thrown out there, it's beautiful. And it's really quite terrific. And I was really touched by the uh, affection that I could feel that went into the, 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 the making of this uh, show the attention to detail, the intensity of it, uh, was really, really quite touching to me. I could see that I had created a kind of little cinematic universe that is coherent. That's also part of what the show does. It shows how everything coheres and interrelates. And uh, so it's, um, I was really thinking it was um, far beyond what I, what I had anticipated.